This is a video by Rich Bin. Today we are working on a typical automotive relay. This particular one has four pins to it. I thought you might be interested to see what happens when you press that AC button on the dash. Well, you need one of these to make your AC work. And if you look right on the end of them, you can see that they are labeled with numbers. Those numbers mean something. In this case, number 30 means it's constant power into the relay at all times. Now, this one right here, labeled 85, can either be constant power in or switched power into the relay. Now, this one right here is 86, which is ground, or in most cases, the computer controls the ground. And when it wants the relay to switch, it sends a ground signal to this pin and that operates the relay. And then this last one, 87, sends the power out to the object that is being driven. So that's the typical relay. So we're going to get in there today, take it apart, see what happens when you put power to the relay. Now in order to get it open, we have four tabs here. We're going to have to spread. So I'm using some fuses. But the more you add, the tighter the cover gets. Okay, we get all four of them spread, so now we should be able to get it out of there. Okay, we got it out without destroying it. There's your coil. And you'll find some points. I know, points. Someday, they probably do have solid state relays. But this is old fashioned stuff right here. Look at the points. Pretty simple, huh? Power goes into the coil, energizes it, and then the points close, and then it sends power out through. Looks like, looks like there's a resistor way down there. It's hard to see. Ah, there it is. You can see it right there. Look at the resistor right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. All right, we're going to add some power to this and see what happens when we do. Here's how we're going to operate our relay. We have the positive wire from the battery coming down to number 30 and number 85 pin, energizing both those. 
right here we have a small little light and that's wound around our output pin 87 and our 86 which is the ground because we need ground and voltage to make the light work and then once we take the ground wire and touch 86 to simulate the computer signal the relay should energize and our light should light so let's see how that works everything is hooked up so now when you press the AC button on your dash the computer will send a ground to number 86 and we already have voltage to the relay so the points right here will close up and then send voltage out 87 to the object that needs the voltage and in this case right here we have a little bulb to simulate the output voltage so let's put our ground to 86 and we should see those points close and that light light up just like that that's how the relay works Usually on an automotive circuit, they use the ground as the trigger. So, ground goes to the relay. Those points close. And the voltage is transferred out from number 30. Let's rotate this. Better. A little bit different perspective here. These relays have been like this for so many years, I can't count. They haven't changed them forever. That's it. That's how a relay works. So that's a look at the inner workings of a typical automotive relay.